Hello winners and welcome to this weekly forex forecast for Euro USD, Pound USD, Pound Swissy, Pound Yen, Gold, USD CAD, US Oil and the targets on USD Swiss. Does that sound amazing? It does to me. In this video we are going to go through entries, targets, risks, what you need to see technically for you to be in the market and also what are the what do you not want to see uh, in the market for you to be trading? So, does that sound amazing? It does to me. Let's go. Let's hit the charts. My name is Ivan Beer, a Forex trader, economist and mentor. I do have a mentorship in the links below. And if you want to join my Discord and get my help, the link is below. And this week again, for those who's in the Discord, one person will get one hour with me if you just join my free channel Discord down below where I give plenty of advice, I give trades, and I answer any questions you might have. So, that's how it sounds amazing. It does to me. Trading Forex is risky, especially now. Uh, not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Whatever money you have invested today can be gone tomorrow if you don't uh, if you don't are aware of the risks and also don't use risk management. This webinar does not contain any investment advice and should not be considered to be so, only for educational purposes. Good. So that was the intro. You can now skip everything else. Now let's go to EURUSD, first and foremost, EURUSD in this, I will go to go through, this move here is explained, now this one here is the entry, this is the exit for carry traders between EURO and USD. Now everyone is buying the dollar, selling everything they have and buying the dollar, dollar that's why the dollar is rising so much, so quickly. It's difficult to even get an entry. So here we have no major pullbacks. I would like to have to done something like this. This is a four, four hour, okay. So some kind of pullback here. The pullback never came back here. The pullback never came back here. Here's pullback coming back up. So now we're slowing down the downtrend. That's a risk, but we're still heading lower. And we did not even think about respecting this level of 108. So I said 108.50 on last Saturday. Ta-da! Hope you got your profits. Enjoy the profits. Now, what are we doing for this week? We are looking for anything that's sellable. That means a pullback, a pullback, pullback, pullback. And that's what we are looking to do. And target is... Uh, 104. So, what are we then thinking here? Do you think it can come back up here to 108 again? It can. It can. Definitely possible. So, I would say, first of all, plan A is to look at entries around 108. Then, we are looking to short it again. Or, if it breaks below, comes back, back up again then you sell it again. So no matter what you have plan A and plan B. So risk stop loss should be 100 pips uh, and it should not be more than 1%. If you have less than $100, you should only have one order in. If you are have so little in your account, this moves here is greater than this move and the pullbacks here are stronger and longer than here so there is more risk involved because it goes higher before fall down again so this could this is 50 pips this is 50 now but here but here it is a hundred on the pullbacks so more risks of losing more money okay that sounds amazing let's continue and move on yeah, so 100 pip stop loss, entry around 108, or if it comes back to 107, target 104, if it pops up higher, 
So what do you don't want to see? You don't want to see you don't want to see price going above 109. 109.50 that's gone. Okay. I won't I don't think you will see that though. So pound dollar pound USD. I think this is where we had it. Yeah, okay. So here we have a pullback. And this is some kind of consolidation. And no, it's not even though on four hour it's oops. Though on four hour it's um double bottom higher high, higher low. Nope. I'm not going to take it. Even though I wanted to. Uh this is the sell. If it comes back up again, lucky us. One oh one nineteen, one eighteen, somewhere around there. Between that and stop loss above 120, then target is 110, 110, 20. So we are falling, and I, I believe we have way more to fall. Not way more, but we have more to fall. So I'm not even going to consider buying it until it rises above 121. Okay? Stop us up a hundred. If it goes above that, that's risk, entry, target. Good, 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 good. Okay. That's awesome. Then pound Swissy. We have, I would say that's an interesting pullback. So this could potentially set up for double bottom, higher, high, higher, low, and then continuation up. But I'm not going to think of it because we have, I don't think we have seen the most of it yet okay though we had a trade war last year which did how many pips is it 1700 and now we have done 1600 so this is bigger than last year's just okay we have a trade war mm. because this affects europe this affects britain this affects australia in a much greater state because Norway, for example, one third of the cars are gone, fifty percent of businesses has laid off people, ninety percent of 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 the income of hotels, of tourism, tourism, and many businesses have lost all their um, income. So it's just pharmacies and grocery stores and the vital uh, vital um, businesses in in the society is open and city council so a lot of businesses is out and not doing as much as they should so economic activity which generates income for the economy which makes the economy bigger is gone 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 gone, gone, gone. all overnight so is this one going to fall? I believe so. If it doesn't fall this week, I will wait for next week. If it doesn't fall next week, I will wait for next week. Because as you can see here, it had a pause. And then it went mover, but still, uh, no, I, I still think we had way more potential. I think this one is greater than last year. So pound yen, did I do the entries and all that? Star sorry, people, go to bed. Excited there. 110, target or below. Entry would be back up to okay, anything that could make you. Oh, I wasn't the right here, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Anything that can make the price come back up to 150 and a half ish. Anything. Anything of any pullback, not any pullback. But this is a new low for me on a smaller time frame. I wouldn't say that if I was a bull, I was like, oh, this is a this is now a new high, this is now pullback. No. Nope. The trend is so strong right now. This is just a relief on a Friday. We are going to continue. We're going down. And yeah, stop loss above there, and target was 110. Fine. Good, awesome. And if price goes above, then I will wait. 
Pound Yen, same thing, same saga. We're going down to 122. And stop loss above here. Entry around here, around 130 and a half. 132, I said, was my resistance on Friday. What do I want to see then? Then I want to see a pullback. And then I want to sell it. Okay? So everything depends on the open tomorrow evening, I think it is. Or Sunday evening. On the market open, where does it go? Does it gap? Does it gap down? Does it gap, does it gap up? I don't know. Well, that determines what I am going to do next. But this is my plan. This is should be your own plan. Pound dollar we did, I think. Yeah. Good. Then I would love to do UC Cat for you. UC Cat is is this a new trend? No, it's not. It's just a pullback to go higher. Okay? So if you get any pullback down to 14240, that would be an amazing entry. But as always, it's just another place to buy. And if this one falls, then it has to do with an agreement in the oil market. And if the oil market now agrees that it will stop having all this uh, um, oil into the market, you will have to look for that. When that happens, this is going to fall. But until it doesn't, until it does, it's going to rise. Okay, so that's your risk. It's not going to be straight down in a line and everything is going to crazy, but you will see a move. Maybe straight down for some 100 pips, but not a 1,000. So use risk stop loss, use 100 pips or whatever, and go with the flow. The flow is up. Don't sell it. And should we go there? Maybe we should, just on the end. I will go see how many positions of which side is trade retail traders at the moment is always fascinating to see that. And I promised you targets on UC Swiss. Target on UC Swiss is one oh one oh one three. There. Okay, just below one of five. One oh one point zero one five. Or above. Okay. Somebody, where were we last week? We are here last week, wasn't we? So that was an entry. If you got stopped out here, okay, then we had a new high. Then you have a new pullback, buy, new pullback, buy, new pullback, buy. That's what's going to happen. Buy, 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 and say bye-bye to sellers, okay? There is not, nobody's allowed to sell this at the moment. Until it breaks 97.50. I don't think if that's even a sell. If it comes down to 107.50, that's all another buy. But if it breaks below what 97-ish, yeah, then we can consider it. But then you need a pullback because this is not going to change direction like that. It's going to change direction more like here. It comes down, goes back up, comes back, pulls back on the four hour. So, and this one did change true in that matter. But then you would need a series of higher, high, higher lows. Then you would know that here is actually the entry. This is the reversal. This is the this is still bearish, still bearish, still bearish. Now we have broken out of that high here. That's the entry, okay? So we will need something like new low, pullback, new low, pullback, then you can sell. So that's the lack for new high, and that's your pullback, and that's your entry, okay? So you really need to wait it out. Don't be the first person to move the market because this one is strong. U.S. oil. I I had a preliminary, preliminary, whatever entry on 24 dollars demo. I would call it then. So twenty four ish. So that's a loss there. Do twenty four. 
So it's just mentally, I won't put money into it right now. I won't put money into on it until there's an agreement. And where is this one going? For this week, it might even go down to 15. If we go down to 15, we are closing down to the oil market equilibrium for production. Sorry, English. I think somewhere around $13 that's where Saudi Arabia has their break even for production of one barrel of oil. What does that mean? That means it costs one. For one barrel, one unit of oil, it costs $13. So that's where they will start thinking of mm, maybe this price is too low for us. But then Saudi Arabia has the lowest cost of production in the world. So by now, I think it's 19, that's why we stopped above 20. 19 is the uh, Russian equilibrium. And what, what does America need? Uh, sand oil needs $49, and Venezuela needs 60, whatever it is. And Norway needs, I think it's around 30 or something. So, or they, they said it could live fine with 30. So. So everyone has a higher cut of production per oil for oil above the current price. So everyone is losing. So it just depends who has the most stashed up cash in their mattresses for this one to. But of course, another thing I don't know if you knew this, but oil price has a direct influence on the oil price, not on the inflation. So. The more cost it takes to produce uh, goods, transport it, the more inflation it is in the world and growth. Okay, so to say another way, we need more. We need more fuel to fuel our machines to produce more goods. For us to produce more goods, we need more trailers to transport it between the factories to manufacturers, to the distributors, to the client. Okay, then we need air travel, which is down at the moment. The more air travel we have, and the more money people have to do air travels, the more fuel they need. Okay, and how does that rel relate to inflation? Inflation is when you have too much demand for one products you increase your prices because people are willing to to buy pay more for your goods okay okay so what's the target Evan? that was around uh 16 16 16 16 16 dollars and they pull back would be advisable i think this is going lower now that it had this close on friday i don't think it's a buy unless until there is an agreement Okay, then I want to say that if you learned anything today, I think you, I want you to take away, write down your takeaways from this video. What have you learned for your own benefit? So you can go back, look at your little comments and say, this video, I even said something about this. This video, I even said something about this. So you can go back in time because this is historic moments. This is what we're going to talk about for the next 20 years. Do you remember the greatest fall in the stock market was this week, people? Okay? And how do we react when the market is falling strongly? Well, congratulations, you come to the right place. You buy, you sell at pullbacks, you sell at resistance, and you buy at support. But it's not your normal support areas. Also, I also want you to say, to think, hmm, maybe I should join your Discord channel. Why? Because you can get a one hour with me. I can give you any advice that I, any advice that you want on any topic you want, and it will be for free. And it will normally would charge three hundred dollars dollars. So it contains all my secrets. And if you get me to tell all my secrets in one hour. Well, then you have gained a lot. 
And would I be willing to? Yes. Since I am so deeply passionate about you watching my webinars, having, uh, getting some value from this, I want you to succeed. And I will give you everything that I want, everything that I think you need to succeed within the one hour time frame. Okay, then I said that we should go to FX CSI. CSI. SSI. So dollar USD is down, but 72% is bullish. Euro is falling like crazy, but still 57 is bullish. Pound dollar is falling crazy, but still 67 is bullish. New Zealand dollar is falling crazy, but 69 is bullish. USD/CAD is rising like crazy, but 74 is bearish. This doesn't make sense, people. Who is going against the trend and who doesn't have the knowledge to just follow the trend, look at the news, where we're going, we're going dollar strong. I hope this was an aha moment because you should not be in front of the train. So until next week, stay safe, don't risk money you cannot afford to lose and stay happy. And yes, come to my Discord channel and you might be able to get one hour with me and I will tell you what I know and you can have one step closer to becoming a successful forex trader. Okay.